Cause I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Cross the deserts, bear man. I've breathed the mountain air, man. I've traveled, I've had my share, man. I've been everywhere. Been to Talamo, Seymour, Lismore, Malula, Bond, Jordan, Rich, Tokyo, Mom, Rilla, Bob, Birdsville, Emmerville, Wallaville, Connor, Jordan, Strath, Round, Cross, Pine, Nella, Dalla, Darwin, Ginger, Nella, Quinn, Mark, Killer, Walla, Miller, Burger, Villa, Cumber, Villa, I'm a killer. I've been everywhere, man. I tell you what, Robert, we are off to a place called Geraldton, and we almost, we almost got it then because he's been to Gingin, which is a town between Perth and Geraldton. Um, Bindi is Mister. How are you going? I'm very well, thanks, Neil. How are you this morning? Oh, very well for this time of the day. Of course, we've had a couple of extra hours in hours than you have. Thanks for joining us so early on a Saturday morning. Um, oh, no problem. Not that early. It's nice we don't have sport this morning. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I've said it before, Neil, and I'll say it again. They reckon Australia is a big country. I say nonsense. It's very small, and the small world stories keep rolling. And uh, agricultural connection, I knew yeah, agriculture's big, but so closely connected that Bindi and my boss are acquaintances. Who'd have thought from 4,000 kilometres away? It's quite amazing. Well, I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly you have. We might get you to sing the theme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you wouldn't want that. So, uh, Bindi, what's the weather like in Geraldton this morning? Oh, we've got a beautifully sunny day today with a easterly, but um, we're quite grateful it's not going to be as hot as it was yesterday. We've been up in the 37 degrees this week, so it's a mild 33 today. Wow. You better tell people where Geraldton is because I know where it is and Rob knows where it is, but we just haven't told anyone else yet. <laughs> well, Geraldton's in Western Australia um, at the northern edge of the wheat belt, and we're about 450 k's north of Perth on the coast. Oh, I'm glad you told us how far it is, because I also say it's about four hours' drive, and clearly it wouldn't be four hours' drive if it's 450, it'd be five hours' drive, wouldn't it? Yeah, g- yeah, give or take, depending on the on the traffic. I uh, I have been to Geraldton on three or four occasions, and I would suggest to you that having an easterly breeze is not uh, a bad thing compared with a westerly breeze on a cold day. That would uh, be a massive air conditioner, would it? Well, mostly the easterly um, can be a bit chilly in the mornings, but okay. we are renowned for our southerlies and we're the windy, windy city, so if you're into windsurfing, Geraldton's the place for you to come. What do people do in and around Geraldton when they live there? Yeah, so it's predominantly an agricultural town, like farming town, and we've also got fishing, so a big rock lobster industry, and now mining um, is a big part of Geraldton. We've got a port here that they um, export um, minerals from as well. Uh, what is the uh, mine of choice in Geraldton? Well, I don't know. I think it's a bit of everything, really. Uh, I know we export garnet and talc and um, iron ore. So um, from all the sort of surrounding districts from Geraldton, maybe up to about 300 k's away or more. Because I guess there'd be some stuff that would go down to Esperance um, and and other stuff that would come across to Geraldton in that kind of square that that makes of Western Australia, if that makes sense. Yeah, well, the ones that go out of Esperance probably more that um, that the northern, like right, right east around Kalgoorlie. We, we tend to be um, we're in we're in the north northwest, um, mm-hmm. so yeah, we tend to draw from Mikitara and Yalgu and um, the the mines that are out there, which is you know we've got a lot more of those in the last five to ten years. And um, only because I want to be able to say it on radio, you'd get stuff coming out of Minanu. <laughs> yes, gra- uh, mostly grain. So we also are a big um, grain exporter out of our port up here um, in Geraldton, which is you know one of our yeah, biggest biggest industries, the grain export here. I uh, used to do some work for a company called BP, um, who are well known in the that part of the world for putting fuel into mines. And I had to go out in a truck, and we went to Minanu, and there was a bakery out there that I have never seen a spread like it. You know, it's what five thousand kilometres from where I live, and I still know about the bakery. They had the most magnificent sausage rolls, Robert, um, rosemary and lamb. Oh yes, oh, very famous um, magnificent bakery. Yeah. Uh, how big, how many people in uh, Geraldton and how how is the uh, community constructed? Because there, there's a, a theme that pops up into this, the importance of community people coming together and sharing. Is, is Geraldton still uh, quite vibrant in that area? Oh, definitely. I think Ger- Geraldton's probably our, our city. We are a city. We've got about maybe 33,000 people, but we're also part of a greater greater region that extends out about 100 k. so I think it's about 38,000 Um Community is always, you know, a big part. We are a regional regional town, so we have a lot of volunteers doing all sorts of um, different aspects from emergency services, you know, through to, to sport and even just helping, uh, you know, other 
members of the community um, where it's needed. Uh, and the other the other thing that I guess comes into play here is Perth is obviously bigger, Bunbury is obviously bigger, but there wouldn't be too many other towns bigger than Geraldton and WA, would it? No, I think we are the, the third largest um, city. So you'd end up having some services there, you know, government services and stuff as well, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're very lucky in Geraldton. We have you know really good medical medical services, and we have a really good support industry um, around that. So you know we have lots of good shopping. There's lots of good schools. We've got both public and, and private schools, um, which is really great. One of the good parts about driving around regional Australia, you come to a sign as you enter a small town, the home of, and there'll be a statue or a sign or something. If there isn't one already, who would uh, who would there be a statue of first in, in Geraldton? The one next to the Bindi Isbister statue, he's talking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, that comes first. Yeah. Oh, I don't know that we do have a big um, a big statue. We used to have a, um, a big yellow submarine that I believe is... Um, being reinstated. Um, we have a, a, an amazing um, memorial for the HMAS Sydney. Um, that was one of the ships that was, uh, warships that was sunk um, sort of just northeast, east of Geraldton. And um, yeah, that's a pretty special place that overlooks the whole whole city. So I think that's probably one of our most famous land, landmarks. Sorry, northeast. Oh, sorry, northwest. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking, I know it sticks out a little bit, but I didn't think it stuck out that far. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, this time last week, remember we had someone who claimed to be something like 250 kilometres northeast of Brisbane, <laughs> and we worked out he meant northwest as well. <laughs> 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 That's good. To, glad we're having this uh, conversation. We're helping the people on the other end of it. Um, yeah, so, right, set my direction straight. <laughs> now, I rec- recall on my visits to uh, to Geraldton that the one thing you want to be doing when you're in Geraldton, if you're having a feed, is make sure you have some of the local seafood. Yeah, definitely. Um, we have a big fishing industry in Geraldton, particularly like the lobster industry. So I um, highly recommend if you go to Geraldton um, coming for a rock lobster and um, if you can't can't buy one in the shop or um, they do sometimes sell from the back of the boat, you could go diving yourself and, and get yourself a crayfish. Okay. Um, and uh, for those who um, who don't like cr- uh, shellfish, and I think that's quite a shellfish attitude. Uh, what sort of oh, uh, stop it? What sort of fish do we uh, do we have apart from that? Uh, oh, I think there's the pink pink snapper, um, jewfish. Um, yeah, we have you know a very good um, fishing few fishing spots off here at Geraldton. We are we do have the Abrolhos Island uh, just to the west of us as well. Um, so yeah, there's always some good reefs out there and good spots for fishing. And of course, you could go down to Dongara or Durian Bay, or head north to Northampton. Well, Northampton though, that's a little off the coast. You might be better. Yeah, no, I'm just naming all the towns I can think of that I've been to up there. <laughs> right. Yes. Or into Port Gregory, up to Calbarry, perhaps. Yes, up. indeed. I've, I didn't get quite as far as Calbarry. I wish I had of. <laughs> so if people were going to go to Geraldton, um, it, it's kind of a bit out of the way, isn't it? Um, it? It's not sort of you're going, oh, I'll be going from Melbourne to Sydney, so I'll go through Geraldton. Uh, there would be people who, I guess, who are doing the loop that would, would stop at Geraldton? Yeah, we do. We get quite a few going around Australia. Um, that will, you know, Geraldton's sort of really the gateway to the to the northwest up there when you're heading up towards Exmouth and Broome. If you're driving, um, you can fly as well, so that's another... A uh, really good opportunity. You can fly from Perth, so if you get into Perth, you can actually fly up to Geraldton as well. Uh, now, I've just been doing some googling, Bindi, and I've found out that the statue that you should have on the <laughs> southern end of your town, as people come up from Perth, is Dennis Cometti. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's unusual. Yeah, I haven't and, seen that one before. And if you wanted to be a little bit deeper into Australian history, Edith Cowan. Uh, is another very famous you person. You don't need a statue, they built a university. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, very much so. So Dennis Cometti is a uh, Geraldton boy, and he is a, uh, well, he's a, a, a great, great Western Australian, without doubt. Much loved. I think uh, Edith Cowan, too, we, we always say that we breed um, smart smart people in Geraldton when we <laughs> lose all of our um, kids after school that go down, that we, you know, in our sporting teams, they will go off to university and study everywhere around the world. So I think um, Edith Cowan's a good representative for Geraldton too. Well, we were also talking earlier that, uh, being that we are in Geelong, um, a chap called Harry Taylor uh, is well known to folk down this way who comes from that neck of the woods. I think he's actually a Northampton boy. 
Oh, yes, football is another thing we breed up here in the, in the northwest. Yeah, Chris Main wearing the late great Murray Renstead and um, 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 Paul Hazelby are also all Geraldton boys. For sure, uh, yes, Josh Kennedy as well from the Eagles. Uh, the bearded one, not the other one. Not the other one. There were two Josh Kennedys playing. See, so not only have we learned a lot today, Bindi, so have you. I have, I know. You set my direction straight. Yeah. Uh, few statues we need to go and talk to the city about. We're all over it. And uh, I'll send you over a uh, track renovator next week. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, we've still got some time for track renovation while we're waiting for the rain to come. So, yeah, it'll be good timing. <laughs> Incredible small world it is. Uh, Bindi, thanks for taking some time out of your Saturday morning to talk to two blokes in Geelong and uh, look forward to catching up at some stage down the track. Yeah, fabulous. Thanks very much for having me. Thanks, Bindi. Thank you, Bindi. Best wishes.